Hi everyone, Simon Keeling here, Thursday the 30th of August. Thanks again for coming to weatherweb.net and for watching the video. The site's get free of charge by the adverts you see around the screen here and it's thanks to you coming back, viewing the site regularly, telling your friends about it that keeps it all free of charge. So thank you for doing that. If you see an advert you like, uh, go through to it, use the advertise because that's what generates the revenue for us. Um, now, this is the chart for um, this morning. You see there the deep dip in the isobars. That's the trough that's been moving its way eastwards during the course of today. Here's a rigid high pressure out towards the west, low pressure up there towards the northeast. And uh, you'll notice how through the course of the afternoon today, we've uh, seen that trough just edging its way eastwards, taking showers with it. Now, there are some pretty heavy showers out towards the east just at the moment. It looks as if they're going to continue through the course of this afternoon. Although far less showers look, you'll notice out towards the west where the ridge of high pressure is building in. Now, just forgive me for getting a little bit technical uh, for a wee moment. I just wanted to show you this because this shows quite nicely how the trough at the surface matches up with the trough at upper levels. These are the charts from Weather Online. They're the 500 millibar temperature and flow charts. And uh, you see the outline of the British Isles just in there. So here's the chart for midday today and if we just go back and take a look at the pressure chart for the same time. So this is the pressure chart for midday today. You can see here uh, the surface trough was across East Anglia and coming through southern parts of England. So sort of flowing down here but the upper trough is actually a little bit further west. Now um, what that shows us is that the atmosphere is actually slanting like, like so that way as you're looking at it so it's slanting as you go up through the atmosphere so the trough is on an axis and the heaviest showers at the moment are just over in this section here you'll notice how through the course of this afternoon these charts uh, show the trough moving its way eastwards look clearing out into the north sea by the time we get through to uh, tonight and here's the ridge moving in from the west and just notice that change in temperature look we've gone from minus 24 degrees in the trough which is what's developing the unstable area enabling the showers to get going to minus 14 degrees so a 10 degree warming in the upper levels of the atmosphere as this ridge comes through during the course of this evening and overnight i just find it fascinating the way that weather works out it's all based so much on temperature to to uh, to watch those temperature charts and see those changes actually taking place is what uh, gives me my love of the weather Anyway, back to the surface pressure chart. Sorry about that, and, but thank you for allowing me to indulge myself at least. Back to the surface pressure charts. There's the surface trough clearing out towards the east. Here's the ridge look building in from the west during the course of this evening and overnight. And it looks like that ridge is going to be with us through tonight. It's going to be quite a chilly one as well. I think we've got to be looking for temperatures tonight, uh, perhaps getting low enough for a touch of ground frost, central Wales, the Midlands, northern England and central parts of Scotland. I think generally air temperatures probably around uh, 2 or 3 degrees in these places, but I think it will be quite a chilly night, particularly given that northerly wind. And then as we get in towards Friday, while well, the ridge is still with us, look, and the ridge persists through the course of Friday. It may just be one or two showers across these coasts of Norfolk, but I think for most it should be generally dry. However, a front coming into the west, look, this uh, is going to be moving its way eastwards, bringing stronger winds and outbreaks of rain into the west of Scotland through Friday afternoon, and that'll be spreading its way eastwards, although I do expect very little rain up here in the east of Scotland, most of it to the north and the west, where it'll be breezy. I think bits and pieces of cloud effect in northwest England, increasing cloud during the afternoon may just bring a spot of rain through Cumbria and probably increasing cloud for northern Wales and Northern Ireland as well. Best of the sunshine down towards the south. And then heading into the weekend, well overnight into Saturday we dry for uh, the southern half of the country. Yes, bits and pieces of cloud and rain perhaps for northwest England. I think some uh, rain affecting northern and western Scotland still with this moist southwesterly flow look, but for most areas it's going to be dry and generally clear. Now, through Saturday, we're going to be finding rain affecting northern parts of Scotland, some of it quite heavy. The west as well affected. Again, there could be some spots around southwest Scotland and northwest England, as well as the north of Northern Ireland. But for many, it should be a fine and a dry day. Winds typically, I think, westerly is probably around about a force three to four in the south, probably a four through the channel. I think southwesterly is though at sixes across northern and western Scotland. If flying is your thing, then I think we're going to find bases of three to four thousand feet for most of England and Wales. Just watch out for <coughs> some low cloud drifting onto these western coasts of Wales and <coughs> excuse me and southwest England. I think also low cloud obviously associated with the rain further north. 
And then through Saturday evening and overnight into Sunday, the front slips its way southwards. This brings cloud and bits of rain across northern England, across Wales and southern parts of Ireland through the night. More southern areas are drier and probably turning drier through Scotland as well. However, that brings a change for Sunday because I think on Sunday morning, with this front lying across southern parts of the country, it could be quite a cloudy start to the day. There could be some drizzle around in places, more persistent rain affecting southwest Wales and the far southwest of England. However, that front is moving into high pressure, so we'll find that the, f the high pressure works away at the front as it slips southwards. The cloud will be breaking, I think the drizzle should be fading away and we should all become dry, although it may well be that it's later on in the day before we see significant spells of sunshine across southern England. I do feel this area probably staying quite cloudy through Sunday. Further north it should become drier, I think, uh, across most areas with some good sunny spells. Still more cloud though for western Scotland. And then heading into Monday, well, another area of cloud and rain and strong winds comes into Scotland, some of it heavy out towards the west of Scotland. Elsewhere looks generally dry with some sunny spells, although these western coasts again could be troubled by some low cloud and perhaps some spots of drizzle. Into Tuesday, another front heads its way southwards. It may just bring a few showers through Tuesday in more southern areas. I think as sunny spells and showers follow into northern and western Scotland. But I think for many it should be a dry day with sunny spells, northern England, Ireland, eastern parts of Scotland, and probably the far south of England staying dry as well. I think it's just as this front comes south as a weakened feature, it could just trigger an odd shower. And then as we head through in towards uh, the middle part of next week, well, a ridge of high pressure becomes a stronger area of high pressure. It builds over the top of the country. I think we're looking at sunny spells, pretty chilly nights, and there could be some mist or fog patches by mornings too. But I think they'll clear away, and then with the high pressure in, it looks as if it should be generally dry with some good spells of sunshine. And then heading towards uh, the 6th of September, so this is taking us uh, into uh, the back end of the week into next weekend. We're going to be finding uh, outbreaks of rain again for northern and western Scotland. It looks as if that area of high pressure does hold on further south. Um, during the back end of the of the week so this is Thursday afternoon we're looking at but then I think what we we'll find is that high gets squeezed away the low comes in and it brings another area of showers uh, eventually bringing an area of showers through the country during the latter part of the day on Thursday into Friday however the jury very much out on how much rain they'll be associated with this feature so let's just have a look at the uh, ensemble model and see how that deals with this situation. Because that's so we're going to work our way through the charts here. These are the charts going forward in, in 12 hour steps. You notice the data up there in the top right hand corner. It looks very similar during the initial stages to the charts that we've just been looking at from the GFS. However, the GFS tending to make far more of this front as it comes in on next Friday. Now, or should I say through next Friday. Now you'll notice how the ensemble makes less of it as it brings it eastwards. Look, it's weakening the front. I think this is probably more as to how it's going to be. I think that front will come in, but I think it's going to be affecting Scotland and Northern Ireland and possibly Northern England and also the north and west of Wales could get troubled too, but I think very little effect from it to the south and also to the east. And you notice how the ensemble then tries to build the high back in. Look, this ridge of high pressure coming back into the south. Again, I like the idea of that. I do think that the south will stay generally dry through next weekend and into the following week. But notice what's happened here. This is the forecast that I gave you about this idea of northern areas seeing rain at times, whereas the south stays dry through this uh, transition period around the 9th, 10th, 11th of September. And that's really what's happening here, because we're finding these outbreaks of rain, look, through into the middle part of the month affecting Scotland and Northern Ireland occasional fronts transgressing further south bringing rain further south but generally most of the rain is across northern areas and I think this is the way it will stay into September now that's not to say this is an Indian summer by any means when I say about fine weather in, or fair weather in the south it's just that there will be dry weather here I think that Southern parts of the UK, for southern England, for southern Wales, we're looking at probably 70% of near normal of rainfall. But across Scotland, northern England and the north of Ireland, here we're looking probably near 100% of rainfall. So near normal rainfall through September. I've seen one or two comments saying, oh, well, what's happened to the, uh, to the, to the summer heat wave ahead? Well, nobody said there was going to be a heat wave. Yes, it'll be warm next week at 26, 27 degrees. And I've always said that it was going to be the south that it was going to be drier, but the north would see outbreaks of rain at times. And even the south could see outbreaks of rain at times. It's not going to be completely dry. And that's still the forecast that we're sticking to at the moment.
okay so thanks for watching for now uh, keep the sun shining and as always please tell your friends about the site thanks for coming to the site it's by you coming back and using the adverts that's what generates the revenue that keeps it free of charge so thanks again for watching keep the sun shining